I received a good question from a guy named Prakriti, which inspired me to make this video in order to share the explanation. First I'll read the question and then I'll give my answer. What is the ultimate aim of learning all these techniques? What is the final destination? Is there a real choice whether we want to be on this journey? Or is it more like life takes you on this journey whether you like it or not? But learning these techniques can help you go through life in a smoother manner. I would really like to know what is the end game. My actions, efforts, the risks I am willing to take, etc. All depends on what is the outcome I am aiming for. I find that the goal is unclear. Maybe it's on purpose. Say it can make a super healthy person a super duper healthy person. And I would like to know where do you draw the line? Do we become immortal? Thank you for your videos. I always appreciate your honesty. Okay, so here is my answer. The ultimate goal of real Ne Kung actually is to achieve immortality. And for those who think there is no such thing, you should know that in Taoism, immortal has a meaning similar to ascended master, ascended master. However, there are several levels of immortal in Taoism. The term earthly immortal defines someone who lives to a very old age while still in good health. It also implies they are very spiritually advanced. A celestial immortal is the ascended master type. And there are some levels to that too. A lower level is one which is a spirit which can communicate with people a middle level one is one which can manifest a physical body. A higher level one is one whose vibration is so high that they can no longer communicate with our level. And the highest level is one which cannot even be seen by gods. You could say at that point they have melted into the light of eternal bliss. It appears that my teacher, Mr. Young, graduated to the second highest or the top level. As an aside here, I'll add that a god is an immortal who is one of the two lower levels, combined with popularity. So in a vague way, gods are like bodhisattvas. They want to put off the top level of enlightenment so they can help other people, while those who are higher level immortals than gods don't really feel like getting involved in that kind of relatively useless, useless bother which is one of the ways that Buddhists define a Buddha, one who has reached a full enlightenment. That's just in case you care about what the Buddhists think, but I don't, I'm a Taoist. In any case, for a person to become a celestial immortal is a very rare thing, and it depends on work done in past lives. It's so rare that for practical purposes, most people should forget that part, and instead have their goal be to work on things that support that greater distant goal. For example, some people ask, what is the purpose of my life? And the answer to that is, the purpose of life is whatever you make it or choose it to be. The same thing applies to the goals of Nekung practice. To be practical about it, the often stated goal or the foundational purpose of real Nekung is to cultivate chi power. Keep in mind that most of what is sold as Nekung these days is not real Nekung, rather it's part of the big giant circus composed of shy shysters and their suckers, or seekers. So, why is cultivating chi power the basic underlying stated goal of real Nei Kung? It is because everything stems from that. It is preferable to not have a goal of becoming a celestial immortal, in the same way that it is preferable to not have a goal of becoming enlightened. Enlightenment definitely is a goal of real Ne Kung systems, and there is a good chance it can happen to the right person doing the right practice. However, many people say that if you have that goal, you will not get there. I don't know, but it feels right to me. I had my big enlightenment experience a long time ago, and although my teacher predicted it, I never cared about enlightenment either before or after it happened. It just happened one day. It's a very interesting experience which is actually required for further progress along the path to immortal. 
because it initiates a powerful kind of internal alchemy and is when the spiritual growth really starts. Therefore, I think it's best to not have the goal of becoming a celestial immortal or ascended master. It is far better to have the goal of becoming an earthly immortal, a person who lives to an advanced old age while still having good health, vitality, and wisdom. In other words, a sage. Having the goal of becoming an earthly immortal is a good one. It was my goal ever since I was in my 20s, although I didn't know about immortals or earthly immortals. I just told myself that I wanted to live to be at least 120 years old in good health, probably a manifestation of past life experience. It's something I have been working on ever since, but it could be why I attracted my teacher, who was an earthly immortal and became a celestial mortal when he died. In general, a person becomes an earthly immortal before becoming a celestial immortal anyway, so focus on that. Being an earthly immortal also will give you the time and the tools that you need to work on the celestial immortal part. But you are unlikely to know if you are a celestial immortal before you die, so don't concern yourself about it. There is an ancient quote taken from the wall of a Greek monastery. If you die before you die, then you won't die when you die. Keep in mind that good health means good physical health, good emotional health, and good mental health. Good emotional health is the same as good emotional maturity, which is the best definition of spiritually advanced. At first, I became interested in studying nutrition as a path to good health and longevity. Then later, I discovered Qigong as an additional path to good health and longevity. And Qigong holds the key to making a real difference. More recently, I have been studying supplements as an addendum to nutrition and learning about which kinds of exercise are best for promoting vitality and longevity. Real Nei Kung, not fake Nei Kung, holds the keys to the final steps and can get you there quickly. Keep in mind that almost all of what is sold as Nei Kung is actually wimpy Chi Kung, not the real thing. Therefore, I think the ideal goals for a person should be to cultivate Chi power, eat foods that promote health and vitality, and get some good sleep and exercise.